look at her go. Working those fangs. Each fang moves independently. Yes, it. You enjoy that ball, boy. That's a yummy one for you, boy. They're getting, they're getting big, boy. They're not monsters. Now, you're most likely, unless you have an allergic reaction, you're not gonna die if one of these snakes bites you, but these are not a snake to joke around with. It it's so cool. Me? Oh, I got engulfed in it. Can't get over it, man. I absolutely cannot get over it. That is the coolest thing ever, dude. For the most part, they hit the ground running. And instinctively, they just know frogs and lizards. Yep. Blake's hand feeding the pine snake. He looks quite angry. He's a hungry guy, eh? Yeah, he is, isn't he? Now, if you just are confident with yourself, he'll grab the chick. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Confidence, baby. Boom. Big diesel. Big velvet. Hang on the boy. That's so cool. The feet. Oh my god, he gulped it. Look at that. If we had more, he'd take more. Luckily, my hands smell like chicken. Look how quickly he moves it down. Yeah, he could probably eat two or three more, bro. Like, he is That's crazy. a glutton. An absolute glutton. Oh, oh, God. oh Come on, man. Come on, man. Ladies and gents, I don't know if you can tell, but we made some changes in the snake room. We got a room for brooms. You know what I mean? We have so much room for activities, as they would say in, uh, you know the movie, and if you don't know the movie. But, that's not why we're here. Well, I guess it's kind of why we're here. But, why we're really here is we're gonna feed off a few frogs, but first, yeah. What's Chandler say? Spicy meatball? Well then I guess this would be meatball soup. It's been a few days since that clip you saw at the beginning of this video of us hand feeding the pine snake. Oh my god, that stinks. So bad. But that's what happens. You got some feathers, some undigestibles. We can go pour that in the toilet because it stinks worse than you can imagine. You're lucky you don't have smell-o-vision. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna give him some new water. It's frog time, buddy. All right, we got the poop cleaned out. We wiped it out. Use soap and water to clean it up. See how my guy's feeling after he's eating a few of these little. We're gonna fill this up. Got some nice fresh water for my buddy here. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Next up, we gotta feed these two vipers in this cage. And I saw a comment on one of the latest videos. I don't remember if it was the last one or the two before that. But I was trying to decide between I was trying to decide between Arbor and Terry or Bluey and Greeny. And someone said Arbor Blue and Terry Greeny. First last name. Arbor Blue, A B, T G. Let's do it. Sorry, my friend. But look at that. Look how beautiful she is, dude. What a beauty. Chomping that frog down. That is exactly, exactly what we needed. Now, like I said, guys, they do have frogs in there with them. But every five to seven days, I still need to get in there and make sure they're eating. The frogs they're eating are really not that big. So it's kind of hard to tell when they've actually been eating get in there about every five days and really make sure each snake is eating. Um, because unlike these little guys that we've got in these tubs, when we put the frogs in there, they could burrow, they could hide in the sump strait. There's a lot of places for them to go and it's bioactive. So there's bugs in there that these frogs could be eating. So I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but we just got to get in there. We got to make sure my lady's eating. Got to make sure uh, Arbor and Terry Blue and Green are eating. Whew. Look at that. Man, she is growing so fast. So, so fast, man. I absolutely love to see it. I absolutely love to see it. Every time I see these little babies take food, knowing that that's another about a week or so that I don't have to worry as much about them. They're little baby snakes. They gotta eat a lot. It's, it's stressful having these baby vipers that don't eat rodents, that don't eat your classic feeders that I can just go buy. Plus the point is they're eating, they're healthy, they're amazing looking. Look at that blue viper. Are you absolutely kidding me? What a stud, what a beauty. Oh, 
Can't get over it, man. I absolutely cannot get over it. That is the coolest thing ever, dude. Ugh. Each fang moves independently. They have the jaw power to walk that frog right down their throat. Look at her. Left, right, left, right. It's just incredible to see how, I mean, I guess not necessarily smart, but how these snakes would really be in nature, how they're, they're built to survive. They're built to eat frogs. It's just natural. It's the way it is. Frogs and lizards stuff up in the trees. They don't have to really move much. They boom, they grab it. Quick acting venom for a little frog like that. Now for us, it's not deadly, but it is a nasty, nasty bite. It's gonna dissolve your flesh. It's gonna ruin your day. Now you're most likely, unless you have an allergic reaction, you're not gonna die if one of these snakes bites you, but these are not a snake to joke around with. It is not cool, not cool at all. seen that in them. I guess I've just never been around the babies this much. You know, when Tyler had the babies last time, I was around them, but I wasn't this up. I was behind the camera. I don't know. I guess I just wasn't paying as much attention. Or, there's just a different pattern. I don't know. Maybe they've produced some striped insularis. Someone's gonna be in the house. You're killing all the baby calves out here. You're just an idiot. Well, guess what? Shut up. You're not wrong, though. You ain't wrong. Look at the patterning wow. on these snakes, bro. And they're getting big, dude. Like, they're getting, they're getting big, bro. They're not monsters, but that's, that's like a eight inch snake, nine inches, which is, which is plenty big. <laughs> Look at him trying to move. That's an arboreal snake on the tile floor, ladies and gentlemen. You ain't gonna see that every day. But dude, number five is probably, honestly, the healthiest of all these insulators. I'm honestly pretty glad you're pooping right now, number five, because better that than in your brand new cage, that not brand new cage, but freshly cleaned cage. But I mean, you can see on him, the body weight is extremely, extremely healthy. This was the first snake we got to eat. He's the snake that's been eating the most consistently out of all these baby vipers. Bruh, he looks so good. Having him out after just having those other snakes out makes me realize how healthy he really is. And you guys can probably see that from your angle there. You can see he's thicker than my snake hook already. And he's not a huge, he's not a huge snake by any means. But he's thick, he's girthy, he's healthy. Oh, absolutely love it. Also another brain question. Mm -hmm. So in the wild, uh, are these born in an egg or are they born live? Live birth, right? These are live birth. So hit vipers are ovoviviparous, which is Latin for the baby in the belly, then you poop out the baby. Which so, <laughs> will the mother stick around with them at all, or does she dip? Nah, so it's basically, you fart the baby out of your cloaca, it falls, it maybe has a little bit of a yolk left on its belly, but for the most part, they hit the ground running. And it, instinctively, they just know frogs and lizards. Yep. That's just how that works. Yep, same way a spider knows, as soon as it comes out of that egg, fart out a little web, carry on in the wind. Baby boas, baby vipers, baby rattlesnakes. They just know. They just come out. Yeah, same, same as a cobra coming out of the egg and knowing it. It's time to go. Mm -hmm. Same as a baby, well, I guess not quite the same as a baby gator because the mods will stay with the baby gators, but the, the gators don't need to be taught. We eat fish, we eat bird, we eat raccoon. Humans are not the only, but a pretty rare species where the babies are born and they're completely useless, which is a uh, classic for a species that runs the entire planet, honestly. That's pretty hilarious. Fun fact, 96% of the mammal mass on Earth is humans and slash or the livestock that we eat. Isn't that a crazy stat? Only 4% of the mammals on Earth are wild mammals. That has nothing to do with this video at all, but it's a fact that I heard from Sir David Attenborough. 
Some okay. of you might have seen it. Yeah. Thought it was pretty cool, but we're gonna get this guy back. Do Maybe any mother do. snakes stick around? Um, Is there any species that some will guard a nest? Some will, they don't really raise the babies, but they will guard a nest. King cobras will typically guard their nest. Pythons guard their nest. Um, a lot of snake species that do lay eggs and have to nest will stay near the nest and or even incubate the nest. But once the babies pop out, maybe for a couple hours, they'll be protective max. Like if you're near them still, they're gonna be like, hey, kick rocks, dude, I'm a king cobra. But for the most part, they're just- Pretty much, you're a wild animal. Go yeah. be wild. Must be nice, bro. Don't have that 18 year commitment. Be cool if you could just have a baby and send them off. But you know, go get a job, nerd. You gotta wait 18 years though, that sucks. Or more if you're my parents. <laughs> so mother snakes don't have to pay like child support or anything? Nah, so like if you're a snake baby daddy, you don't have to pay child support. You can just bust and then gust like the wind. <laughs> I know, identify as a snake. All right, well I'm gonna clean this poop up off my snake hook and off the ground, get this guy back, and we're going off to Mr. Nolan's birthday dinner. We should we should bring the vipers like so he can- Like as a prank? No, like, so they can see him at his birthday party. Yeah, like, we can all hold one for a picture. What do I Hell yeah, bro. Ah! Get the cameras! Ah! Yes. Yes, Bobbit. You enjoy that, Bobby boy. That's a yummy one for you, boy. Oh! He likes to eat lettuce. Yo! But he eats lots of shit, so don't! Coming on my video, telling me what to feed my damn tortoise. Dude! I was doing a song. All right, bye, Bob. That thing's being loud. You gotta go, bye. Look at this group of creatures. Look at them. We got Susie, the swamp dog that doesn't listen. We got Bob, the red-eared slider. <laughs> we got Augie, the good boy. The goodest of all the boys. Yes, he is, Augie the good boy. Augie the good boy. And we got the rat. The rat-tailed rat. Oh, the companion. Look at her tail. Oh, oh, yeah, you're just a penny, you're a penny. Oh, are you gonna bark for me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then we got Blake. It Yeah.